Alright, so it's Black Friday and we're out shopping. This is my sisters. This is Rachel and Elizabeth. Steve and our husbands, they're home with the kids. We're gonna take them swimming and put up the Christmas tree and we're gonna enjoy some time away from kids and hopefully find something we love. Find some good clothes. Yeah, we're gonna start it down east and it doesn't look like there's any crowds here, so. It's Starling! Elizabeth, did you get anything? And a zebra shirt with white pants, even though I have six kids. <laughs> so I can feel like I don't have six kids. <laughs> I love it. I found colored pants. And with that navy shirt. It's the cutest navy shirt ever, but it's not on sale, but I'm still here. <laughs> because the store is on sale because it's Black Friday. <laughs> yes, those are so cute together. I've been wanting to make Christmas stockings forever. And I found these. And I'm just gonna pick the names off and make them personalized. My friend knows someone that will embroider the names for a dollar a letter. So we're gonna have the cutest Christmas stockings. I'm really excited. I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. I got Jeffrey Meriden a Christmas present, but they're gonna be seeing this video before Christmas, so I can't show it to you. Sorry, Jeff and Meriden. Okay, so yesterday was one of my dream days. I got to go shopping almost all day. It was awesome. But Steve, being the trooper that he is, had to stay home with the kids and still hasn't seen everything that I got. And so I'm really excited to show him and you get to watch too. So let me go grab him. Okay, I got him. He's about to see it. Are you excited? Oh yeah, so excited. So because we live kind of in a rural place, um, we don't live by stores. So this is kind of my shopping day of the year for kids. My favorite store to go to on Black Friday is called Once Upon a Child. And basically the store buys back gently used clothes. And so they're really nice clothes. And then on top of that, on Black Friday up until 1 p.m., they do 40% off. So my really sweet sister-in-law came with and Meriden came with me. And this was the first time I've taken Meriden shopping that she got to choose what she wanted to wear. And I was like blown away the whole time that she just knew exactly what she wanted and stuff that I thought for sure she would love, she didn't even want to try on. She was like, mm -mm, nope. So, babe, I'm gonna show you what I got from Meriden first Sweet. and then I'm gonna show you all the other stuff. Let's see it. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five pair of pants. And some of my favorites were My Little Pony leggings and just some striped pants and Levi's that she'll actually wear because she only likes comfy clothes. So we have um, this little pantsuit. Ooh, that's so cute. It looks so cute on her. I'm sure you'll see her wearing it in lots of movies. And we already talked about the bathroom issues because she's going to have to get all the way off. Um, but we have a long sleeve shirt with sparkly stars. A Christmas reindeer shirt isn't that cute oh and this one too which I was surprised like that's kind of like something an Ray, older girl would wear and that's what she wanted she's like what is mud jeans mom and then she got a flamingo shirt and this flower shirt that she really loves they're kind of the same cut they kind of flow out a little bit so cute and then this one she didn't love but the only reason is because she doesn't like the color of that flower she likes the color of these flowers and she almost wouldn't let me buy it. I'm like, I'll cut off that flower because it was a really good deal. It came with these pants and it was like two bucks or something crazy. It's this one, but that one she didn't like. Then she really likes the color white, so we'll see how that goes. But when a shirt is so cheap and she wore a shirt today at the zoo that it's kind of an Indian pattern. She really likes Native American looking clothes, so that's cool. And then this cute little dress. It'd be fun to find some orange pants to go with that. And this darling sweater. Wish it fit me. Looks so cute on her. And I'm not sure if this is like carrots or pineapple. What do you think? <laughs> carrots or pineapple? I think uh, bunnies. Bunnies? 
It looks almost Eastery, even though we're going into winter. These boots, they were like six bucks in great shape. And she's in love with her first pair of heels. Oh, heels. A little young for those. I know. Next is Russell. Now, you may be thinking, why do I need clothes for Russell? I already have two other boys. Yes, I don't need clothes for Russell, but I need clothes for Russell. You know what I mean. Russell, being the third boy, is getting all these hand-me-down clothes that are, have stains on them, and they've seen better days. It's true. And a lot of his clothes is like super worn out because they've already kind of gone through two boys. And I'm tired of seeing them, besides. So I'm going to start with the best for last, which is very unlike me. I'm usually saving the best for last. And it's this one. It says, make a big splash. This is how I broke my leg. <laughs> If you haven't seen our SeaWorld video on how I broke my leg, it's because a whale was splashing little Russell. And so, and the best part of this is actually it's texture on the whale. Oh yeah, that's Isn't cool. That cool. Plus it's just really cute. And I love that it's a t-shirt and a onesie at the same time. So, so this one is really cute. I love the striped pants and it's a little lucky shirt. And then a little superhero stripes and long sleeve. And last but not least, a cute little church want romper, which you should wear this church tomorrow. Yeah, think? definitely. It's like 90 degrees here, so. Oh, P.S., you're probably wondering why you're seeing the trailer around here. Um, so visiting our family in Arizona, it just worked best to bring our own home on wheels. And so we're getting our first chance to use the trailer, and it's working great. We're really happy with it. So next is Ephraim. He actually wore this outfit today, so... It's not super clean, but it's really cute. It actually matches Jeffrey's as little monsters on it. Um, and then the shorts, I always have to get the shorts with the waist that cinches up. And I forgot to look. I just was so caught up with how cute they were, I forgot to look for the cinching part. So today we had to put a rubber band around his pants, but we'll need to just put a belt on him for those ones. And then we've got like dinosaur and we have stripes and we have bear with sunscreen and a scooter and just a really bright color and little green stripes. You haven't noticed Sharice really likes bright colors on our boys. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> that is so cute. And then these shorts. And these also don't have the cinch up waist, but these ones do. So always go with Carter's, don't go with Ralph Lauren for Sonoma, I think that's a Target brand. But yeah, I love my boys in bright colors. Their blonde hair, really fair skin. I just think they look great in bright colors, so. Okay, that's Ephraim's clothes, but this is the really the best the part. The best part, the shoes. The shoes. So I was just gonna get these, because they look nice and warm. And then as we're going out, I'm like, oh, those are leather. These are like polo. And I'm so glad I grabbed them because I love them. And then these I had to call Steve about like, do we really need cowboy boots? And he gave me the, yes, we need cowboy boots. Of and course. They even. Oh yeah. my heck. Jeff wore some hand-me-down cowboy boots that I glued back together 26 times. Yeah. It'd be nice to not have to glue And these were really, they were $6, so can't go wrong. Yeah. You know? And it's winter. We're ready for them. And they're easy to put on. Okay. Jeffrey. I love shirts that make my boys look like little men. And this looks like a shirt Steve will wear. So I love it on Jeff. And of course the bright colors. Um, that's so fun. We've got surfboards. And we've got a motorcycle. These shirts look like brand new. I know. Some of them still have tags on them. I like that, that one. That's not fun. And he's gonna die over this one. And he hasn't even seen the movie. <laughs> and this I love because it's that wick material, so when it gets dirty, it's easy, easy to get clean. How are fine. And then look at these shorts. Oh, he wore some other shorts today that I can't find, but that's super cute. Look at that little design on there. And then this is the very best part. Don't die, because I almost did. 
<laughs> what is that? It's like a fish. He's uh, so excited. It looks about like a it. chicken. I think it's a fish because look at the arms. It has like fins. Mm. The armpits. Is that for like a swim shirt? <laughs> no, it's just like a regular shirt. Oh. <laughs> I know. My only thing is it says a 5T, but it looks smaller. So it could always help fit Ephraim, but he's really excited to wear it. So hopefully it fits him. And then, oh, these are Ephraim's too. Stride right. I love these shoes. They're light, strong. You need kid shoes, those are my favorite. Two pair of spider. Two pair of spider shoes. I showed him these ones. I might give him these ones for Christmas. These are like interesting. They're stride right and they're like, they have holes in them, so they kind of breathe. So maybe they'd be better in the summer anyway. For Downies, they gave out these for free. Cute little $10 gift bags. And then I got this. Ooh la la. Another this. Another undershirt. I know that's exciting. And look how cute this sweater is. I can't imagine wearing this sweater right now because it's so hot, but it's my favorite part. The button. It's awesome. That looks so warm and cute. Mm -hmm. And a little cardigan because you always tell me my cardigans look like <laughs> out. He always tells me, you've got a hole in that cardigan. It's time to throw it away. Yep. I have a hard time throwing clothes away that I love. So, all right. So I love socks. And so I grabbed a pair of socks for myself and I asked my sister-in-law, how much would you pay for a nice pair of socks? She said $4. They were three fifty, dollars so I had to buy them. And then I said, <laughs> Sharice loves very festive socks and earrings. Yes, I do. And then I had my sister go choose her favorite pair. So I'm giving these to Rachel for Christmas. She already knows. She chose these for Jenny for Christmas. Jenny, please act surprised. And then Elizabeth chose these for herself. So she's getting those for Christmas. And that's what they get for going shopping with me. And uh, last but not least, a new workout shirt. Ooh. And <laughs> how fun on Christmas. Oh, that's great. I should have bought you a matching one. Oh, wait. Do you mm. have something to show me? Oh, yes. So my uh, brother-in-law, Sharice's younger brother, he's like 17. He went out shopping at Ross on Black Friday. And he's like, he brought this shirt home. He's like, oh, crap. I already have this exact same shirt. I was like, well, let me try it on. I'll see if it fits me. And uh, anyway, it fit me perfect. So he's like, here, you you can have it. I'm like, I'll pay you for it. And he's like, no, just have it. I'm like, okay. So I got a nice flannel shirt. That'll be great for, you know, Utah. It's cold. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm hip. 17-year-old buys some clothes. Tell us what you got on Black Friday. Hopefully it was better than ours. All right, I hope your Black Friday was as fun as ours, and that's the Cooper Scoop. We'll see you next time.